very much. What have you brought me? Oh, I brought you some pretty orange ropes. Aren't they oh, nice? Lovely. Yes, let's see how many of them we have here, Dick. There's one. There's two. And there's three. Three magic ropes, all orange. We're going to gather them up like this. Hmm? Yeah. Dig like out. that. That's right. Okay. Okay, now we're just going to check your memory. Okay. How many ropes did I give you? Three. Three, good. What color? Uh, they're orange. Orange, good. And how long are they? Uh, each one is about a foot and a half. Yeah, 18 inches. Okay, okay. give me back one of the ropes, Dick. Anyone? Anyone. Uh-oh. <laughs> Gee, I don't remember that one. Oh. <laughs> well, let's see what else you have. You want another one? Yeah, give me another one. I don't believe oh, it. Look at that one. That's a long one, isn't it? All and right, we'll put that one down. That's the size I remember. Actually, Dick, though, it makes no difference. The size, it's the number of ropes that counts. Sure. This is a little tiny fella. And here's the big one. Mm -hmm. And over here, the medium one, right? Okay. I'll hold on to the ends, and we'll give you the uh, other ends to hang on to. Okay? All right, now just remember that we have three ropes, one long, one medium, and one short. Except for a little magic. Then and it looks like they're all the same, you see? Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> we'll leave that one there. We'll tie these two together with a small knot right about there. Okay. Okay? Okay, now we have uh, two tied together. Right. We're going to take the third rope and tie it on like this. So that now we have two knots and three pieces of rope. Gotcha. Right? There they are. Okay, I'm going to place one knot, Dick, into my left hand like that. Mm -hmm. Then I take the other knot and tap the back of my hand. When I do, do you know what happens? I can't imagine. Watch. The first knot is gone. <laughs> that just leaves us one knot. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know what kind of a knot that is? It's a large knot. No, that's called a slip knot. I'll slip tell you why. Knot. Look. It slips <laughs> right off. <laughs> like that. You see? Okay. So that we end up with one knot, one long piece of rope, and if you don't like the knot there and you want to put it back, all you do is zap, <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> Beautiful, yeah. This is Dick Cavett saying, watch for more HBO Magic Moments. You never know when the next one may appear. today, Carol Fox has written six books on magic and has lectured all over the world and performed Carol Fox. Well, what do you have today? Well, Dick, we have a magic bag here. Mm -hmm. Sort of a mixed bag of tricks, I guess. Inside, we have some elephant's engagement rings. There's number one. You can <laughs> take that. One. Take it out? Yeah, check it out. Yeah, hang it on your arm over there, Dick. Okay. Here's one for the other arm. Okay. And there's one for the other arm. No, you only got two arms. Well, that's all right. That's right. Check it out. Perfect. Yes. Take a look through the center, Dick. Mm -hmm. We're going to make everyone in the audience disappear. How's that? All right, look through the center. Look yeah. at them. Close your eyes. Don't see anybody, do you? I can't stand it. Open your eyes. That's not the end back. of the trick, I hope. No, that's no. not the end okay. of the trick. Uh, we'll take the two rings. <laughs> and we're going to uh, show you how these rings are put together. Mm -hmm. You just set one ring on top of the other ring like that. Then you push with one finger. Apparently, they are together. Mm -hmm. The entire thing is optical. Now, for instance, take your ring. I'll show you how it works. All right. Okay, now see, if this ring is placed here, and you put a finger between, then it would look like they're together. Try it. Just I put your finger. If I put my finger in there. Yeah. Now, doesn't it look like they're together? They appear to be linked. Yeah, yeah, they certainly do, don't they? The illusion is almost perfect. But actually, they aren't together, you see? They're separate. Watch. If we blow on the center one, just pick it up. Isn't that easy? Uh-huh. Now I'll show you how to take these two apart. Watch. Mm -hmm. You got them? Keep yeah. one eye on each ring. Look. <whistles> right like that, you see. Mm. Yes. Now, we're going to take these rings and uh, we'll have you hang on to oh, them. Okay. And reach inside the bag. 
A dead frog. Mm -hmm. No, it's a handkerchief, isn't it? <laughs> a Beautiful, green. too. Yes. Lovely thing it is. Okay. We're going to take the green handkerchief, and I'm going to wrap one end around this thumb. Fine. And I'm going to wrap the other end around this thumb. Hmm? Now, as long as it's wrapped around the thumb, it's impossible to put a ring on, right? Exactly. Okay. Take one ring, Dick, and just touch the center of the handkerchief. It's a beautiful trick. I practice this trick for stuff. Oops. What happened? Uh, they stuck okay, together. Let me see. I wish you'd quit fooling around. I didn't know. Now we've got all three of them together. Well, maybe I can take them apart. Let's see. Uh, no, that didn't work. Hold on to the one that's moving there, Dave. I feel awful about this. Just hold on to that one. You can turn loose here. Now watch. When I say three, you just say magic. One, two, three. Magic. Look. <gasps> it's done. Lovely. And this is Dick Cavett saying, keep watching for another HBO magic moment. You never know when one might appear. a man who has won awards as lecturer, performer, and brilliant teacher and author of magic, Carol Fox. Hi, Dick. We're going to do a uh, trick with a piece of rope. Obviously. Oh, yeah. No, Dick, <laughs> okay. you make some, Dick. Okay. You probably think I don't know how to do this. Well, I don't know. You're doing pretty good. I only Drop bent one there. Yeah, well, that's fine. Right. See, a little I've, bit of fallout. I've suckered you in here now. Yeah. Remember this? Hey, that's good. Thanks. People think it's a trick deck, but it's sure skill. And Yeah, it looks like a good deck. Yeah. You left out a couple shuffles, though, Dick. You didn't do this one. I forgot that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you didn't do the sneaky cut, this one here, see? Like, I, uh, right, yeah. I left that out too. And right? you left out the butterfly, you know, like yeah, the butterflies, like that. Yeah, but that's the nice pretty butterfly. thing yeah. that is. Okay, you take the card stick, okay. and I want you to count six cards on the table. Face down. Face down. One, two, three, four, five, and six. That's right. And put the deck away. Okay. Yeah. You know why you counted me six cards? No called the six card trick. Oh, so otherwise there would be a Yeah, otherwise if you got ahead you count five cards, it would have been the five card trick. I, I think yeah. you can go on, Carol. Okay, the six card trick. Here we go. I'm gonna check just to make sure you did it right. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whoops, you gave me one too many, Dave. I'm sorry. Yeah, well that's okay. It's still the six card trick. Okay. Oh, it will be now. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, there's still one too many. Hmm. I don't know. Let's check again. Watch. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. I knew it. And one knew it. too many. Can't stand it. Hmm. How many did I ask you for? You asked for six. I asked for six. Okay, okay, let's check. Here we go. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, and that last darn card. How do I do it? Hmm. I don't know. Hold out your hand. Let me count them on your hand. Okay. My work. One, two, three, four, five, six, and one lousy card. Great. Right. Count them on my hand. It might work, yeah. All right. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> yeah, that lousy <laughs> card again. <laughs> Let me check. One, two, three, four, five, six, and one extra one. Yes. Yeah, well, we've tried every way of counting, right? Mm. Actually, the whole thing is in the way I count them, you see. Uh, if I put a, a little bit of a hex on it there, I can make it look like we have one, two, three cards. Oh, that's all except, it is. Yeah, well, if I exit twice, yeah. then we can make it look like one, two, three, four cards. <laughs> yeah, of course. See? Mm -hmm. If we exit uh, three times, mm -hmm. right, sounds more like a dog act. Then we got one, two, three, four, five. Five cards. That's now, easy. how many cards do you think we have? Four, five, six, how many? Uh, you have a, m a minimum of five. All right, you count them. Okay. Out loud, please. What? Uh, <laughs> wait a minute, what <laughs> It's uh, very thin and very single. This is Dick Cavett saying, watch for more HBO magic moments. You never know when the next one may appear.
to have it with another HBO magic moment. And here is a magician who has written six books, one lecture of the year, Hollywood Magic Castle, and performs all over the place, the splendid Carol Fox. Carol. Well, thank you, Dick. I want to tell you a little story. Good. Actually happened. I was walking down the street, and a young fellow walked up to me and said, excuse me, have you seen a policeman around? And I said, no. He says, good, stick him up. <laughs> and uh, he uh, asked me for my money. And I explained that I'd been playing poker and that I didn't do too well and that all I had was uh, five dollars. And he said, well, this is my first job. I'll take it. So I gave him the money. As he walked away, he did not know that I was a magician. So I snapped my fingers. And when I did, an interesting thing happened. He ended up with uh, five pieces of white paper, you see, just like uh. that. So he was a little disgusted at the whole thing and he gave it back to me. He said, here, you might as well take this. He went on his way, and of course, once he had left, then I worked the magic in reverse and uh, got all the money back. Hmm? It's the devil's work. Yes. The stick habit saying, watch for more HBO magic moments. You never know when the next one may appear. <laughs> <laughs>